Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Alright, let's check what we got for you right now. We have the re the new generations of the Mini Cooper. This is a beautiful uh, Mini Cooper Club man. Let me present over uh, officially. It's a 143 scale 2007. Uh, let me make sure it's 2007. Either 2007 or 2008. I'm going to put it in the in the title. The specific year. Mini Cooper Clubman. I think Mini Cooper Clubman hit the right spot for people that liked the Mini Cooper but needed a little bit more space. The Mini Cooper was too small for them. They didn't have, barely had any type of trunk. Barely had any type of space in the rear seat. So, for those of you that had maybe had a baby or two babies and you want to put a, make sure you could put two, um, or two kids. And I don't think a big family would still want to have a Mini Cooper Club, man, because they were still small. But they were a little bigger than the regular Mini Cooper and that's how, that's the market that they were going for. And obviously, they were making up again the original Mini Cooper Club man. So it's not like a new model that came out. This is actually it's like the regular Mini Cooper. They re you know they brought it back to life the model. This model specifically the Mini Cooper Club man came out in 2007 all the way down to 2014 which is the first generation which is this look right here. They have a second generation which is a uh, from 2015 and on, but this is the first generation of the Mini Cooper. Uh, they came out with a uh, different size of engines, 1.4, 1.6. That was a gas engine, regular and turbo, and also had a diesel engine, 1.6 and a 2.0. Transmission wise, they had a. Uh, six-speed automatic and also a six-speed manual so they have a choice for anyone that didn't like one one for the other well i like the two-tone color well it looks a little weird to me and i don't know why they did that the example this the the top color which was the black they took it all the way down to the back tail lights and i'm not sure that was a good choice some of you may say it's different, it's okay. Some of you may say this car looks like a clown. It has a little bit everywhere. And it's okay. I find it okay. It was not the craziest idea for me. I personally probably would have not done that. But again, they want to make sure it looked different. And I see the black color took it all the way to the bumper, the rear bumper, it hugged it around. So, okay, they may wanted to make it sure they put a little bit more of the black, the piano black type around. It's a three-door. So, it's actually a four-door. And I'm going to tell you why it's a four-door. Two doors on the sides and two doors on the back. Even though even though you could, it's only one option in the back. It's basically for the trunk. But it's, if you look at it, it opens like... Out, out, wait, half of one side, half of the other side, but still, it's it's considered a three door regardless because there's no second row doors in the back seats, and they used to do that back in the days of that. Well, actually, now, for, now that I'm looking at the car, I think it was a in the side was a three door. If I saw it on the passenger side. I think there was a side door that opens from inside. I think you have to open the front door on the passenger and then the side door will open up. I guess that's for people to go to the second door seats. But it's like a hidden door. Uh, a few cars out there had that. I think the Hyundai Veloster had that. Also, for my North American folks, you know the Saturn, there was a sports Saturn had that also. That they open from the inside. Eh, I'm all, it's alright. 
By the way, guys, this is a diecast model and it's made by High Speed. Not a very popular brand, but it's a good quality brand. I like the quality of the, of the diecast. All right, I'm going to go around a few times and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So what do you think about this model? Did you like it when they came out again with the Mini Cooper? Were you the type of folk that say, you know what? Keep those classic cars from back in the days in a respectful way and let's all remember them in a good way. Because a lot of people did not really like these models when they came out. Especially Mini Cooper was no longer a British car in parentheses. It was owned by BMW. So it did lose a bit of its nature as a classic British car from the boondock <laughs> from the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s, even the 90s. So when this came with a new model, not everyone was very fond of it. But what do you guys think? Do you like them? Do you find them okay? Do you still see them on the road? Which I'm guessing you do because they're quite new. Still less than 20 years. And let me know what do you guys think about this car altogether, or you collect them as a die cast or a resin model. All right, don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And don't forget to click and subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button. It will remind you when I'm posting more videos. All right, guys, so take care of yourselves more than ever, and goodbye.